Hi and welcome back. Okay, in this video what we're going to do is we're now going to modify locally this part for the way it's going to look after this first operation of machining. So to do that, I'm going to right click on it and choose in place edit. For those power users at home, you can also just double left click on it, gets you to the same place. Now with an in place edit, what that does is that allows me to do all of my modeling right here in the context of my assembly. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and select that face, right mouse button click, and create a sketch. For my first sketch, what I'd like to do is this. I'm going to copy, oh, pardon me, copy this profile here. Perfect. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and window select that, hold control, window select that. I'm going to right click and remove those segments. I'm even going to delete that, which was a coincident relationship, drag this up to here because that is the profile I want. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to offset this outer profile out some distance. Don't really care how much, just so it's bigger than the block. And now we're going to go ahead and cut a pocket. Where? From there, up this way, we're going to change our limit to be through. Perfect. I need to add my fillet back on here as well, so I'm going to go to fillet really fast. That's the 30-second fillet. Nice. This is that first machining operation. The other thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to create a sketch here really fast. When I create my sketch, I'm just going to put a point there and a point there. Remember the drilling group we did before? Well, I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to right click and choose drilling group. But this time, I'm going to make a relationship. I do want a through hole. And yes, this is a 53125 drilled hole. But maybe that's going to change. And I want to be smarter I don't want to have to go change a lot of things if my customer comes back and tells me that the drilling changed. So I'm going to come here, hit my little orange plus sign, and I'm going to make an associative value to the measurement of that existing face. And what this does is if that face changes diameter, it's going to update this field automatically. Again, visually the results are the same, but the design intent, the design intent is really what's cool here. Like that. I believe we have made every change that we needed to make to this. So I'm going to go ahead and validate out of my in-place editing. I'm, of course, going to come up here and hit Save because that's what good designers do. And now I'm going to position and derive again another copy. Let's do it. Control, drag, and drop. I'm going to say position this right on there. But again, we want to go ahead and rotate that. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this. And I'm going to come down to my x-axis, rotate it 180 degrees, green check mark, looks good, validate my positioning group. Last step is we'll right click on this, come on down, and we will derive the part for modification. And finally, we will rename this to be stock op 3. And in that next video, we're going to go ahead and modify this for the third operation.